Hello friends! My name is Alex and I'm from Education Galaxy. Today we will explore how to read and write time. And for today's adventure, we're traveling the world with Mathtopia Airlines where we will meet a flight attendant named Megan. Good morning, my name is Megan and I work for Mathtopia Airlines. I'm going to take you on a wonderful trip to learn about time. Now boarding flight 123 to learn about time. That's us! Let's go, people! Please keep your arms and legs inside the airplane and enjoy the ride. Reading and writing time is so important. See all these wonderful people on my airplane? They all have places to go and people to meet, and they need to be on time. So let's learn how to tell time so you'll never be late for your big adventures. Let's take a look at the clock. We have an hour hand that points to what hour it is. The hour numbers are written all around the clock. Then we have the minute hand. Each of the little tick mark represents one minute. And we use the numbers written on the clock to count by fives since there's a number every five tick marks. Let's count by fives around the clock. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty, forty-five, fifty, fifty-five, and then the twelve represents o'clock, which we write with two zeros. We also use terms like a.m. and p.m. to tell us which time of day we're referring to. If we use a.m., we're referring to the time between midnight and noon, the morning hours. And if we use p.m., we're referring to the time between noon and midnight. Let's try some problems together. Here's Noelle. She has a time problem. Hi everyone, I have an appointment to meet my mom at the store Math Mart in Mathtopia this morning at exactly this time on the clock. I can't wait! I love shopping. I love it so much. I love it more than my cell phone. I know that's some serious love. Can you help me figure out what time it is on the clock? Thanks! Okay, um, I know I do the hour hand first, but what's it pointing to? It passed the 8, but it's not quite at the 9, so what hour is it? You're right! It's in the 8 o'clock hour. Okay, now for the minute hand. Can you tell me what the minute hand is on? Yes, 50, because we have 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. So the time is 8.50. And I'm meeting her in the morning, so it must be a.m. Thanks so much. Now I won't be late. And here comes Franklin and Yvonne. Hi there. We have a tennis match in Mathtopia this afternoon at this time shown. Can you help us figure out what time it is? What is the hour hand pointing to? The two, that's right. It passed the two, but it didn't get to the three yet, so it's still in the two o'clock hour. How about the minute hand? Wow, has anyone ever told you how fabulous you are? It's two tick marks past 30, so it's 32. So the time is 2.32. Now remember, it's in the afternoon, so do you think it's a.m. or p.m.? You're right again, it's p.m. Hey, Yvonne. How can you tell when your clock is hungry? Huh? I don't know. It goes back four seconds. Get it? <laughs> <laughs> Attention passengers, please prepare for landing. And now that you know how to read and write time, you'll never be late again.